this instructional video. In this notebook, we're going to go through uploading files to Dataverse NL using PyDataverse API. Dataverse is an institutional repository where we can find a variety of data sets. Out of the 78 implementation, this is the Dutch one where we can find data sets from public institutions in the Netherlands. Moreover, we're going to be working on with the demo dataverse where we can actually play around with the repository without messing to the real data. Going back to the notebook, we can see the requirements. Uh, first of all, you need a, a data set that you want to upload. You need a Google Drive account to, to actually use this um, to, the, to use this notebook. And you don't need any coding skills or Python is required since everything is already set up for you. So step number one, you need to get familiar with Colab notebooks or Jupyter notebooks. The only thing you need to know this is that there is code cells inside the notebook, such as this one. And when you press it, Python is working on the background and it's going to give you an output. The rest is just text. So remember, press the play button. What is most important is that these collaboratory notebooks, they actually work like Google documents, where everyone that has access to this link can see and edit the notebook. Therefore, what you need to do is to actually create a copy of this notebook. So you go to File and you click Save a Copy in Drive. So that's why you need a Google Drive account. Right now, the copy is complete. We see it in another tab. And we can see here, copy of the file. You can change the name as you want. I'm going to change it to my name. No one can see this notebook since it's already now in our Google Drive. We press now, as we can see, Google is already connecting to the Python background. And now we see the checkbox and everything's, everything is up and running. Step number two, we need to log into Dataverse. As I mentioned, we're going to be working on with demo Dataverse. If you want to actually work with the real Dataverse, you just need to take off the demo part. We log in. We don't, with our institutional account. In my case, it's Master University, but you're gonna see the list of different organizations. And I am already in. Step number three, set up an API key. An API key is going to be our uh, access, is going to be the way we can access and we can synchronize um, our account of Dataverse in our account of the Colab Notebook. I click here in API token, and this is what you're going to see, API token here. In my case, I have a, a, an, uh, a token generated. But if, you, if it is your first time, you're going to see something like this, and you need to click Create Token. For this time, I am going to recreate my token I'm going to copy to clipboard, and after the video is finished, I'm actually going to revoke it to make it not useful anymore, since you're watching this video. So you put here your own token, and you click play. Now we know with the checkbox that it's already working. Now we go to step four. We need to allocate, we need to see where our dataverse it is, right? As you can see, Dataverse is a universe of repositories and datasets. What we need to find is the Dataverse where we want to deposit our data. In our case, I'm going to go to Master University, and then I'm going to go to Faculty of Science and Engineering. This is the Dataverse I want, to, I want my dataset to be in. Therefore, I'm going to copy this URL. I go back to my notebook. 
and I'm gonna paste my data version. Check that is the whole URL and check that is the right notebook, not the original one. In fact, I'm just gonna close the original one and I click play. Now, we need a data set to be already generated. And then we're gonna look at the metadata and the, and the object identifier. But probably you don't have a data or your metadata created. So I'm going to quickly create a data set. Example data. Author and contact and um, for description, I'm just gonna paste some generic information. Remember, this is the demo database. We don't want to do this in the real one. And I'm going to choose a subject, which is the mandatory fields. As you can see, we can actually upload files on the Dataverse user interface, although there is a file limit of 9.3 gigabytes. That's why we're getting used, we're using the notebook. Here it is, it's already created. If we go to the tab metadata and we see, and we copy the object identifier. Once we have it, that is indicated in the in the image, we're gonna paste it here, and we click play. Step number five: connecting to the Dataverse API. I just need to click play. What it does is you actually install the Python library that is going to do the connection. In my case, this requirement is already satisfied. For you. Most probably, you're gonna be uh, some things are gonna be running. In this last part, it actually does a connection. If we click play, Python in the background is creating a connection between this notebook and this dataset. Exciting! Here it goes. Successful connection to the API. Step number seven. We're almost there. In the left-hand side, here we can see this icon folder. Google already gives you some sample data for doing any work you want to do. We're going to click on the upload button and we're going to take the data that we want to take. In my case, I'm going to take some gene data and some text data and a CSV file, some CSV file. You can choose more files, uh, as, as, as many files as you want upload. What Google tells you is that this notebook is a virtual machine that once the, the session is, is destroyed, all the data is going to be destroyed as well. So don't worry, we are not uploading the data to any server. This is just a temporary machine that is running in the background. Here it goes. Uh, we see that um, the the gene data from FASTA format is uploading, and Google is giving us somewhere around 70 to 100 gigabytes of space to do this work. Google also gives you, um, it has the option to upgrade to Collaboratory Pro, but probably this is not our case. And this is way better than the option of Dataverse. As we can see, this is only, um, this is not even um, a gigabyte and it's already slow. Here's the notice. The very last part now that this one is, uh, as, as soon as this one's finished, the very last part, when we press play, it will actually create the data inside this data set entry. As you can see that the metadata was created generically, but there are no files in this data set.
Here he goes. Remember to keep an eye on the notebook because if the, no the notebook is idle, the session can be broken. So just keep moving in. Here we go. As we can see in the folder, we have our four data sets that we want to put on Dataverse. Press play. Here we go. It's working. That is okay, that is okay. Yeah, everything worked smoothly. If I go here, I do refresh. Here they are. Here are my four data files. And we can check. Yep, and everything is right here. Four megabytes. And these were the genes data, 28 megabytes. You can obviously go bigger, but it's going, to take, it's going to take longer. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have happy uploading of the files. Thank you.